joining us. Let's start today's technical analysis with the Bitcoin USD pair and recent events during the markets. Greg? The Bitcoin dollar pair dove 1% in the last session. The ROC is giving a negative signal. MetaShares dropped 0.8% in the last session. The RSI is giving a negative signal. The Aussie dollar pair made a minor downwards correction in the last session, dropping 0.2%. The Williams indicator indicates an oversold market. The gold dollar pair exploded 1.2% in the last session. The stochastic RSI is giving a positive signal. Thank you for sharing with us. Now let's hear from our news department. Oil prices slid to settle at a seven-week low as investors worried that demand from China could be weakening, while OPEC Plus seems likely to stick to plans to increase supplies. Market participants have been talking for days about a possible ceasefire deal in Gaza that could reduce the geopolitical risk premium for crude prices. The Japanese yen gained on news reports that the Bank of Japan is considering raising rates to 0.25% when it concludes its two-day meeting. That would be an increase from the current 0 to 0.1% and more than the market is currently pricing in. Tether has reached a circulating supply of $113.13 billion as of July, marking a significant milestone since the collapse of the Silicon Valley Bank in March 2023, which marked a significant turning point for the stablecoin market as traditional finance institutions fled to the USDT for stability. Thank you, and now let's go through today's major economic events. Japan's BOJ monetary policy statement will be released at 3 GMT. The Eurozone's harmonized index of consumer prices at 9 GMT. The US Fed interest rate decision at 18 GMT. Germany's retail sales will be released at 6 GMT. Australia's retail sales at 1.30 GMT. The US ADP employment change at 12.15 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join our next review for the latest news and events from the financial markets.